Hey guys, uh, my name is Kayla. I'm coming to you from the Connecticut Science Center and today we are going to do an experiment called plastic milk. Uh, now it's not really plastic, but it's going to act a lot like plastic and it's going to be a fun way uh, to create something new that you can build and kind of create. So what you need for this experiment, you need some milk. Uh, I've got whole milk here, but you can use all sorts of kinds, whatever you have at home. Um, not sure, not the almond milks and things like that. It has to be uh, regular milk. Uh, and then you're gonna need some vinegar, white vinegar. All right, now the first thing is, is you're gonna need to pour out one cup of milk and uh, warm it up for, I put this in, a, in the microwave for about two minutes, um, but you can also warm it up on the stove or whatever. It just needs to be the temperature that you would kind of make like hot chocolate. Not boiling, but pretty warm. Okay, so I've already done that. So I've warmed mine up. I put it for two minutes in the microwave, so it's uh, pretty warm here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four teaspoons of the white vinegar. And then once you have your four teaspoons in, you're going to start mixing it up. Now it's going to start kind of uh, pulling apart almost. The milk's going to become very thick and chunky. Um, and it's going to make, they're called curds, um, kind of lump curds inside. It's not making cheese. This is not quite the same way of making cheese. What it's doing is it's actually pulling out a protein called casein um, from the milk. And this casein actually acts a lot like plastic. So plastic is a chain of molecules called a polymer. And the polymer is a long chain of molecules that keeps chaining up and it can be stretched and molded and things like that. This casein acts the same way. It's a long chain of milk protein part, um, molecules that acts just like a plastic. So once you have it mixed up, it's gonna be uh, a little bit chunky in there. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna strain it. If you don't have a strainer like this at home, I have this strainer, um, you can just use a spoon and kind of scoop it up. You want to get rid of as much of the moisture as, or the liquid as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drain it into my strainer here so that I can get all the curds and the casein lumps and get rid of all the excess liquid. So with a cup of uh, milk, it does make quite a bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to push it around a little bit to try and get all that excess liquid out. We really want to get it dried out a lot. And what I have over here is I have some layers of paper towels. And what I'm going to do is once I get most of that liquid squeezed out through the strainer, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it right onto the paper towel and press the paper towel down on it to try and get more of the liquid out because we want to get as much out as possible. So I'm going to take this and I've got it down here on my paper towel. That's the excess. We don't need any more of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it and I'm going to press the paper towel, try and get all the liquid out like so. So now I have what they call plastic made from milk. So this is the casein that has group together and you can use it if you want. You can mold it into a shape. You can use a cookie cutter or something like that um, to make it. Uh, the thinner it is, the faster it will dry out. Um, so you can make it into a shape, let it dry over about two days, two to three days, and then it will become hardened like plastic. They used to use this for things um, over a hundred years ago, like making buttons and stuff like that. So here's a new way that you can make your own experiment at home. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Try out different ways, try different kinds of milk, see what'll happen. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this experiment today. So if you wanna check out some cooler experiments and um, things to do at home, you can always check out our blog um, for more Science at Play um, things from the Science Center. So thanks guys for joining us and we'll see you again soon. If you are enjoying this activity, please support the Connecticut Science Center by making a donation.